Okay, so now the fun part is adding in the roof here, and what we're going to do is just like this. Now, it's pretty straightforward how you do this, but um, I'm just gonna do it really quick like that, just to give you the idea. And we're gonna just uh, show you that around, just like that. So that's the roof border on the outside, and you gotta remember to put those in as well. Um, but yeah, these the court stairs become the blue, um, becomes the blue clay, just like that. Now let me go ahead and change this over really quick using the Metacycler that we have. Um, let's go ahead and do that, and then do that all the way along the top, and then oh, voila, there you go. That is our one section right there. And you wanna make sure that you have the um, trap doors like that. That adds in a lot more detail, makes it look a little bit nicer on the side. But anyway, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna do a little bit slower. So you do full block, full block, full block, full block. And then you do the half slab, just on the bottom side of the full block, and then one there, there, and there. And then when you come to the side, put two in the corner, one there and one there, and then that's how you do these little sections, just like that. And you go ahead and just do that all the way along, and make sure that you do that. I guess I should have done this first, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> You know, whatever. And then you change the biomes of those trap doors over to the extreme hills, just like so. And now I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse the other two sides, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that is finished. Just got to add in the trap doors on the sides actually There 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 and there and then over here as well so one there 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 and there and Now this is ready to go and now we're ready to add on that section up there And as you can see the tower is definitely coming along now You can add in those little steps there or whatever you want to make it touch the ground but uh, that's just what I did there. It's just, you know, just kind of a uh, fill-in thing. So yeah, I'll be right back and we will go ahead and head on to this next section. Alrighty guys, so now it's time to move on to the inner portion here. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and make all of this into our um, iron block, iron ore, just like that. And then you change all that to its metadata. Now, technically, I don't even need to use the iron ore, but, you know, I just use it anyway because it's just, I don't know, helps to not confuse you guys. So, what we need now is to grab some of that stuff, the full um, block, all the way around like so. So, that is what's going to support our um, middle portion going up. So, we're going to go one, two, and three. And we're gonna do that on all four sides. Three, one, two, three. And then we're going to do, of course, this. Now, unfortunately, again, you can't sample the blocks, so it just makes it really difficult for me. But you go all the way around to that, all the way along the bottom too, and you make those into your X's like so. And we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way. Actually, let's just go ahead and do Let's go ahead and do two sides first, and then I'll go ahead and time lapse the other two sides, uh, just so that we don't get too um, mixed up. Anyway, those are like that, and then this along the top and the bottom, just like that. Now you wanna grab some fence pieces, like this, and you wanna make sure that they're the right metadata too, because again, these are the light ones. So you gotta go ahead and make sure they're dark. Now they're only too high, actually. So, just like that, knock that down, and then keep making sure that they're the dark version, just like that. Okay, now we can move on to some buttons, because who doesn't like buttons, right? They go one there, one there, one there, and we're gonna do the same thing over here, there, there, and there. And then what we need is our stairs, our half slabs, and the fence pieces. So it's gonna go like this, all the way along. So upside down stairs, all the way along like that. 
and then you go ahead on top of these just make a flat layer of um, half slabs all the way along and then all the way along here actually before we do that to make it even easier for us is we're gonna add in some frosted glass which is the white glass all the way along like so and then you wanna make room for your uh, those just like that okay you want to do the same thing here, there, there, and there, all the way across. Now, why is it always just on that side? I don't understand why that is, but there must be a reason. But anyway, that is going to be um, our that section there. So now what I'm going to do is time lapse the other two sections, and uh, we'll be good to go. Alrighty, and there we go. Now that is finished, the top part of the tower. And now we all we have to do is do the top bit here and then the a little bit of the interior if we want to. But um, let me just do something really quick. Um, something that's gonna bother me unless I do it. Uh, gotta go ahead and grab a wall. And we wanna go ahead and do this. Now let's make this into oak because oak will look better, I think. Right there, and we'll do the same thing here, there, and there. And that's sort of gonna hold up the whole thing. We're not going to hold it up, it's yeah, it's just some extra detail there. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, uh, let's let's go ahead and move on to our next section, and we will be almost done with our tower. Alright, so we got the last bit of the roof to do here, so let's go ahead and do this really quick. All we're gonna do is use some um, the blue clay blocks all the way along now honestly these blue clay blocks almost look like dragon scales don't you guys think I think they look like dragon scale scales but um, anyway just go ahead and do this all the way around but they work as shingles as well as long as you don't think dragons it's not like well actually you know who wouldn't want to have dragon scales for their roofs I mean indestructible roof I'll take that <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Anyway, um, let's do that. And now what we need to do is go ahead and put the uh, stairs along like this. Now, it's going to look really funky until we finish it. So you just kind of do the uh, it like that. And then the same thing up here. You do it threes, just like that. And do the same thing there. And then you do this all the way around like so. And then, oh, voila. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab some of those, and you're gonna make sure that these are all the right texture. Now the reason why I'm keeping these spaces in the middle open is because that's where those little windows there are going to go uh, eventually once I get around to it. But for right now, we're just going to do this part and get this done. So once we get this done, it'll make it things a whole lot easier for us to do um, all the rest of this stuff. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and grab some stairs, our frosted glass, and this should be pretty straightforward. It's just gonna be like this. Um, and then you're gonna dig in like that, and you're gonna put your frosted glass right like that. Now, granted, it doesn't connect from one side to the other, and um, you know, you guys can experiment with it to try to make it look better if you want, but honestly, I don't have a problem with doing it doing it this way it doesn't look as bad like especially from a distance like who's gonna really look up here at the top um, close like it, all that matters is looking at it from a distance because as you can see it doesn't look too bad um, it's just like a little depth feature I guess and we're gonna do the same thing here just like that alright and then we're gonna add the top of the tower here which is going to be one, two, three, four high. One, two, three, four. And then I guess we'll go ahead and add a flag in really fast just to say that we've done it. Um, okay, so 
the flags are going this way, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. Now I'm just gonna try to do this really quick so we don't spend too much time on a flag because we'd have no desire to see how to make flags right now. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna do that. And then maybe like it's flipping back like that. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> and let's do that. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab some white wool and we're going to smooth it out like that. Just like so. Alright. And then we're gonna add in our little flower pot on top. Because who doesn't like flower pots? Right, like that. There we go. And then there is our flag on top. Pretty simple. Now, another really important feature is adding in this chimney here. So, um, it really doesn't matter which corner. Actually, it does, to be honest. Because how we lay out the interior is going to decide a lot of things. So, uh, make sure it's going down this corner here. So, you go all the way up. To there actually to there and then you change this top one into that so make sure when you're looking at the entrance side make sure it's to the left because how we do the interior decides on how you do the uh, the chimney here um, otherwise it'd be in the way and it just cause problems and we just have no desire to have many problems when you're doing the interior but anyway, there you go. That's how you do the exterior of this tower. And now I'm going to show you, try to do it really quickly of how to do the interior. So I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the interior of this thing. So our first order of business is turning shaders off. And you go inside, you go ahead and just make your base. And we're gonna do fill our cobble 10. So then that fills all of that space up with cobble and uh, that works out pretty well. Now here is where the actual fireplace is going to be. So you just go ahead and do something like this. You knock that out, and then I guess you can do something like that as well if you really want to add in some more detail. And you eye fire, and you go ahead and put fire there, but you know, just for purposes, for aesthetic purposes, let's go ahead and add in some of that, like that. All right, no big deal. So now, uh, you got the fireplace going all the way up and now we're going to go ahead and do this here which is the stairs and this is going to go all the way up the corner so when you come in the entrance here to the very left wall is where you start it and go straight up and you go all the way up to there and then this goes all the way up to the next bit which is right there all right now what you need to do um, is first actually let's do this all the way down let's put um, upside down stairs this is what supports everything and keeps it all nice and uh, yeah keeps it supported yeah. and then what we're gonna do is crosswise through here we're gonna add in a log and then the same thing here we're gonna add a log there and a log there and then on the inside here we're gonna go ahead and add in some of these uh, oak half slabs just like this because um, these are the platforms where people would do all their stuff on and uh, you know all that good stuff and then remember there is a stair there and that's how they would get up through here into there so now is the kind of confusing portion of doing all the railings because sometimes that does get a little confusing but for right now we're just going to do the basic railings all the way up here I'm gonna do one there and one there. Now you want to make sure that you have this one correct, which is comes in one there, um, and then these two are just normal, just like that. And that did work good. And then you want to do the uh, trap doors up like this. And then voila, there you go. We got the railings for this section. Now we want to make sure that these are the correct biome. Biomes are always a problem, aren't they? So much fun going through 
all these biomes trying to find the right one now I don't even know if this is going to be the right biome but um, hopefully it doesn't screw anything up above or below it but anyway that is how you get that platform done and now we're up here let's go ahead and finish that off and um, let's go ahead and do this actually really quick because I know how to do this portion like that and then you do a actually I think I'm gonna do this here like that and then a little bit like that here we go and then the ladder will go up right here so we can go ahead and do this really quick go ahead and build a ladder up right here and that's how you get up to the next level and then all in here is just sort of like a little area to walk around in but anyway guys I'll be right back and we will move on to our next portion alright so for the last section what we need to do is just go ahead and make some cross beams like this now this is going to support the upper floor um, you see how I cross them like that always um, it helps the structural integrity of the tower um, it just you know keeps it together you know if it was all the same way one way would be more off balance than the other and it might cause problems so anyway yeah we are going to deal with the problems and we got to make sure that this is the right here we go that's perfect all right now up the middle we're going to go ahead and do this which is the iron um blocks like that <laughs> and so now this is the tricky part um, we got to do this all the way along. So this is the solid cross beam. <coughs> Excuse me. And you do this there and there, and then you do these along, just like so. Um, upside down stairs. Make sure they're pointing inwards uh, towards the middle portion um, because the ladder is going to go up between it, and uh, we don't want to hamper that at all so anyway we're gonna go ahead and fill all of this in with our um, half slabs just like actually we're gonna keep that open there because that's where the ladder goes right there and we're gonna just go ahead and fill all this in here we go now we want to grab our ladder which is right there and we want to go up and we'll make sure that that's the right there we go and now you get up into here and you got lots of blue stuff and uh, that's problematic but uh, it's easily fixed or easily remedied so let's go ahead and do that um, and then let's do this here and now we want to grab our there's that and we want to grab some full spruce now this is going to be interesting figuring this out uh, it's always interesting trying to figure this kind of stuff out but anyway Whoops. I'm gonna go all the way around. Make sure it's all um, covered. Because if it's not, it looks a little awkward in the end. And it's actually really simple. Just kind of fill all that in. Make sure that you are try to limit as much of the blue as possible. Um, I don't like seeing the inside of the roofs, so I try my best to uh, hide it on the inside as much as I can let's go ahead and change those to that and then I guess what we can do is this as well up here and then that's about as much as we can do um, I don't see how we can do any more um, work than that to make this look good in here and then you go ahead and go all the way up the center and then oh, voila and that is that we have just finished or finished first we have just completed uh, our tower now you can add in whatever details you want in this tower uh, it's all up to you whatever you want to do and it all works out but this is how you do it um, hopefully it's uh, you know you guys were able to understand it and hopefully you're able to do it by yourselves but anyway that is our uh, little medieval tower here and I'm Pretty sure we got everything add smoke to the chimney if you want but um yep that's about it now if you guys like this video please like don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot more to come 
Um, don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter that you guys can follow me on uh, and stay connected with me. So if you guys have any questions, it's a good place to ask me questions and be on a more uh, personal level with me if you want. Um, also, I stream on Twitch. Um, I live stream on Twitch, so you guys can go follow me over there and see what I do as I build Seabridge. But um, yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, bye bye. Thank you.